Alright guys, how's it going? So I thought I would have a little bit of fun today and I'm taking a look at the website called mechabricks.com Now you've already guessed, yes it has to do with Lego and when it comes to 3D and Lego there's plenty of things out there on the market you have Eldraw, Leocad and a whole bunch of resources but Mechabricks kind of refines it a little bit makes it a little bit more easier to use and I highly recommend you check out the website so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at the website, we're going to import an asset into Blender and we'll take a look at the add-on. Now one thing you really do need is an account for the website. I know, sacrilege, I know. But in order to export out an object, you really do need an account. So what we can do here is we can go to the library and we'll take a look at some of the assets. Now these assets are generated by the community and it kind of reminds me of Sketchfab a little bit, except for Lego. And we have this amazing Mr. Bean asset, so we'll take a look at here. And you can see here, we actually have an icon for editor. So I'm going to click on this. This will open up the editor and it'll drop the asset inside of the editor. Now, straight off the bat, you can actually see we have a whole bunch of Lego assets here. And you can create your own models and upload them to the server. But I'm only interested in this asset at the moment. So what I could do here is, I can come up to file, I can go to export. And it gives us several different formats. It gives us the Blender add-on format, which we'll take a look at in a second, Collada, Wavefront, and then STL. So if you actually go back onto the Mechabricks website, jump into shop, you'll see that they have two Blender add-ons. They have a Blender Lite, which is completely free, and they have a Blender Advanced. Now clearly there's a slight difference between the two different add-ons, and you can see it here. It gives you things like bevels, it gives you things like scratches and surface dents, and this works with cycles dirt and fingerprints, it just makes the asset a little bit more pretty. But, we're only interested in the light version. So download the plugin, install it, it's got instructions how to do this, and we'll jump back into the workshop, and we'll export out a Blender add-on ZMBX file. And we'll quickly jump into Blender. And you can see here, I've already imported the object. Now, to import the object, all you need to do, is once you've installed the add-on, go to File, go to Import, and you can see here, Mechabricks Format and it'll import the object pretty much perfectly and it'll set it up for EVE. Now this works in cycles but you might need to kind of tweak the materials a little bit but that's pretty much how we get a LEGO asset into Blender very quickly and it is a really good website and it's a great resource for LEGO assets. Do me a favour guys, like your video, subscribe to the channel, cost you absolutely nothing, follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Peace.